Flinders Rural Health South Australia aims to inspire young health professionals to live and work in this beautiful country with our rural communities. We do this by providing opportunities for students to study medicine and other health degrees whilst living in rural South Australia. Today, we introduce you to past and present students, as well as the rural doctors who support them. In medicine, our passionate team of staff supports students to undertake a year-long clinical placement program called the Parallel Rural Community Curriculum, or PRCC. The PRCC was established over 20 years ago in the Riverland region and now extends from Mount Gambier in the southeast to the Barossa Valley, Outer Adelaide Hills and Southern Flurio, including Kangaroo Island. PRCC students are supervised and supported by local doctors living and working in these rural communities. Each region also has a dedicated team of support staff to ensure our students are well looked after. Students can apply to one of four regions across the state where they will be based in a local general practice. The Greater Green Triangle encompasses towns in the Lower South East as well as Hamilton in Western Victoria. The Hills Mallee Flurio region includes the Flurio Peninsula, Murray Mallee region and pristine Kangaroo Island. Or you can choose to study in a town surrounded by the rolling hills of the Barossa Valley. Or you can choose to go to where it all began, on the banks of the Murray in the Riverland. During a typical week in the PRCC, you can expect to have a variety of clinical experiences, including in general practice, rural hospitals, operating theatres and labour ward. So, let's hear from a number of our students who are PRCC ambassadors as they talk about their journeys in the program. I asked them about the highlights, some of the challenges and what they wish they knew when they were first deciding on joining the PRCC. Um, so it probably all started in first year, like the little events and stuff. Um, the lunches were all a bit better, people were always a little bit nicer, just a bit more interesting. Uh, but I think the decision was really clinched at Rural Day when I was in your seat as an MD1. I think we were down in like Victor Harbour maybe. Um, but we heard about the experiences of the MD3s and 4s and um, some of the things that really sold me were, uh, firstly more one-on-one -on -one and face-to-face -face teaching. Uh, the teachers up here are sensational by the way, like um, one of the clinical educators, Dr. Jason Bateman, literally wrote the book on emergency medicine, but it wait. This one, it's called the ABCDEs of uh, emergency medicine. Hi everyone, I'm Katie. I was based in the Barossa last year um, and just want to reiterate how amazing the experience was. So definitely would recommend going rural. You get some hands on stuff that you don't get anywhere else. Um, and yeah, it's, it's an amazing experience all around. Just enjoy your first year. Um, there's so many wonderful people around you. You spend time making friends. I know social events aren't really a thing at the moment, but when they become a thing, um, get to go and to as many of them as you can. Um, and yeah, that's about all I have to tell my first year self. Just enjoy it. It's fun. Such a fun year. I think the biggest thing that the PRCC brings you is that um, you become really part of the team and they're really invested in becoming, invested in you and that you become the best clinician that you can. So yeah, I guess, oh, sorry, I'm bumbling this a fair bit. <laughs> but the, uh, I guess the main thing is with your challenges, you're going to have challenges in the third year regardless of where you are. But I think the PRCC program really helps you and supports you and it really enables you to um, get over those challenges. Don't miss out on a whole lot going rural. You learn so much more and you become such a valuable member to your team. And so you're actually more skilled having gone rural. I was really lucky to get the spot and go and live my rural cowboy dreams. And it, it just absolutely changed my um, outlook on what I want to do with my career. It was the best year and I found that I was really interested in things I never thought I would be. We all played a sport in the community. You know, we participated in all the local community events. We even walked in the two yearly Brossa vintage. We knew a lot of the winemakers by first name. Um, we, we were completely embedded in the community. When students are located in rural towns, our rural doctors take them under their wing. Dr. Jerry Considine and Dr. Scott Lewis are both rural doctors and student mentors. Jerry is a rural GP based in the Clare Valley, and Scott is a rural GP anaesthetist based in the Eyre Peninsula. Interestingly, both doctors also have their private pilot's license, which tells you a bit about their thirst for adventure. So let's hear from them as we ask what makes their work and living in their rural communities so enjoyable. So for people that are stuck in the city working, 
they might have a view of this, but when you're flying around the countryside as a GP, this is the view that you might get. So that's just off the coast of Elliston. If you're in your car, you might be thinking, stuck in traffic all day, you look like this. Uh, this is the face that you get to get to see when you're, when you're flying around. It's a lot more enjoyable. Yes, you're a doctor in a town, but actually, first of all, you're a member of that community who just happens to be a doctor. So it's a really nice feeling joining a community and then having that extra skill that you can provide. Well, what advice would you give to students like yourselves? Find a mentor and, and get out there and, and have some exposure. I'm the only doctor out there. I cover a, uh, a region that stretches about 100, 150 kilometres in every direction. Um, and, uh, and that's certainly enough to keep me very, very busy. As is the nature of these things, we've got our little emergency department there. Um, and uh, I have my own clinic where we see the full spectrum uh, from birth to death and, uh, and manage everything in between. But that's the job. I mean, the job is fantastic. We know the job is fantastic. I fly. Um, that is one of the best ways of taking care of the tyranny of distance. Um, Adelaide there is only an hour and 15 minutes away for me. Um, I can have dinner meetings. I can go to lunch. I have loaded uh, three people in my plane before and we've made a Bunnings trip to Adelaide. Uh, it's uh, that easiest way of, of taking care of that tyranny of distance. That one of the big things, one of the things that I enjoy most about my practice is the teaching. Um, I've had Flinders medical students through for a long time, um, but I'm also heavily involved otherwise in, in the community. Allow you to get out there, get involved in the community. All I can say and all I'd encourage people to do is get out there, give it a shot, take the rural opportunities as they present themselves early. Get out there and, uh, and spend your time uh, during medical school, getting the experience and, and just seeing what these places have to offer. As the saying goes, you'll never know if you never go. Who knows what you might find out there in country South Australia? You might just find the inspiration for your dream career. We know that in the PRCC, you'll have a great experience learning medicine from fantastic rural doctors. Come along and experience what life is like as a rural medical student in the PRCC supported by our university team and a group of like-minded peers. So, what are you waiting for? Check out the website for more details and how to apply through our Rural Entry Pathway.